Hello everyone, today we will have a review of the updated version of the app for 9bot scooters and the version, version of it is 6.3.0 so it's the latest updated version and you see already here how it looks like so let's go one by one and check what the new and actually how it looks like after a small redesign I'm using it with my 9bot F2 Plus, actually I unlock it to 32 km per hour, so currently it's called uh, 9bot kick scooter F2 Pro. So activated it in May 2023, total mileage 922 km, but actually it's more than 1000 km, 1155 km already riding the scooter for around 9 months. Uh, and let's check it out. Let's see what's here. So we have the main screen here where you see a scooter charging capacity Bluetooth whether it's connected or not and the modes like echo speed mode and drive mode here. It's not changeable uh, in this um, app. It's only can be changed on your scooter, but here you can just see it. You've got a dashboard here. So this is quite interesting function that you can use it live. You can see the uh, remaining mileage, percentage, riding or turn on actual duration, this ride in kilometers, current uh, wiggle temperature, maximum speed, voltage and current in amperes. So currently it's on charging, so speed is 0 km per hour and watt consumption is uh, minus 60. Uh, actually it's minus 60 means that it's charging. So when you press it, you will see a positive number, meaning that it's consuming your scooter. Uh, okay, also here you can click on battery. If you click on it, you see it's actually almost same, but a bit more details. So current battery is charged in milliampere per hour. The total capacity is 12.8K uh, uh, hours here. Also battery serial number, battery firmware and battery maintenance suggestions here available inside this option. Okay, I will not load it. Uh, also, you can power on or power off. So currently power off, slide to power on, then the scooter is powered on. You see the range left on the speed, 16 km per hour. In case you adjust it to echo or drive mode, the number will be different. Uh, also, you have the settings here that's the most important so it's written how many days i own it in my case it's 227 days uh, cruise mode available with two options or even three disable enable by pressing direction indicator switch for three seconds uh, actually when riding you can enable it and it will just hold your speed on and also you can just hold for five seconds uh, the gas or uh, speed button and uh, in this case the cruise mode will be activated. This cruise mode is only available when you unlock your scooter, you have 32 km per hour and actually it's uh, United States version is detected here. Uh, energy recovery, so you have strong, medium and weak, you have here is some safety instructions, I turn on, turn off Wi-Fi so you could not see it, but actually I use medium which is enough for me. Walk mode is the maximum speed is 5 km per hour, I don't know whether it's useful, maybe if someone nearby is walking near you, uh, or for kids, in this case it can be used, but in general not much usage. Charging limit to protect your battery, so they increase battery life, they suggest to lower this limit. You can set it uh, from 80 to 100, I always need 100, so just keep it here. But actually we can keep 95, which is also more than enough not to charge it to 100 all the time. Starting speed from 0 to 5 kilometers, I use 3 kilometers in case it is lower than 3 km per hour. Um, it will be always in a park mode if 6 seconds no action, so it's not convenient, you need to go out of this park mode. Actually, it's better to use 3 kilometers or even more up to you. Uh, traction control system, so actually this one is similar to stabilization in a car when your wheels will be stabilized during the uh, slippery, when you're on a slippery road, so actually activate this feature just to keep it more steady, let's say. System, you have empirical and metrical system, of course, because it's for United States version. 
custom settings on of the sport mode for uh, for the sport mode so you can set from 15 up to 32 kilometers per hour is the maximum speed for drive by default is 25 kilometers per hour and 15 kilometers per hour in echo mode acceleration settings so you have maximum speed energy saving and normal so just keep normal it's more than enough for me also, if you set it to max speed, of course, it will discharge your scooter much faster. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, Lock-in function here, so you can activate it, set up the code lock, and actually, in case you want to use it, you will all the time unlock it from your phone. Uh, in case you need to park it somewhere, so I guess this feature is quite good to have but I don't use it also here is I have Android device for iOS device of course it will be find my feature available so sort of air tag is already pre-installed in this scooter so you can always find it and actually in case you have Apple device you just add it to find my and that's it it's similar to your to any other device of Apple that you are adding uh direction indicator sound so actually without uh, this option activated you will not hear the direction sound for me i activated this option because i want to know when it's uh, lighting up so sometimes accidentally you just click it and then you don't even realize it but it's always um, making some <laughs> indication let's say so basically i just activated to here when i accidentally clicked it because i don't uh, really use it quite often abnormal alert so it's actually audible and visible alert well uh, will ring in case of abnormal vibration so if someone touch it you park it somewhere someone touch it so it will make some noise and uh, some light as well so device information i already showed here have master control version 1.4.12 which is the latest one the battery version 1.9 1.1.9 1 bluetooth version 3.6.6 on this master control version unfortunately you cannot uh, unlock or change your number serial number so you cannot put it to 32 kilometers per hour and in the latest version, up to date, the battery details we already see here. Actually, from those settings, that's it. Also, you have here fast settings like how they call it, general settings, energy recovery mode, and cruise mode. Here, you can activate directly here. You can create a new ride, and actually, GPS is here. Okay, I will not show it to you. Just exit. So, we'll just record your ride here. And actually, I don't have any recorded rides, right, so just exit it. Uh, vehicle photographer. Actually, I've got 922 kilometers, but as I changed uh, and unlocked my scooter, so actually it's a bit more. Help and feedback section. So nothing interesting here. It works only with the internet, so I will not show it to you. More functions. I already showed to you actually. It's the settings option. You have moments also here when you can follow some people in the community and see the photos of the scooter, how they use it, and any other interesting things here. Also mine, I will not, I will just show you briefly. You have your level, you have your content follow followers, notification, medals, some coins, and some support here, and total mileage per your account. So basically for the review, it's pretty much it. In case you still have some question to the app or in general about the scooters, leave it in the comments below, put the thumbs up and see you next time.